I'm blushing. Look. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a natural everyday makeup routine plus chit chat video. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bells to know every time that I post. Okay, so I wash my face and I put on lotion. So first I go in with my NYX Shine Killer and I'll also link all the products that I talk about down below. And I just take a little bit and I just dab it on my face a little bit. And I think it works as like a BB cream. Uh, I just have a really oily face, so that's like my main focus. Now going in with my foundation, I use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 115 Ivory. In the winter, I use um, I use natural ivory because it's a little oh, <laughs> it's a little lighter for the winter and then I go in with my beauty blender. I wet it a little, little bit and then I just, I, I see beauty gurus do this. Okay, I know nothing about makeup. Anything I do know, I probably learned when I was 13 and getting super into makeup and then I kind of like fell out of it for a while and now I'm getting back into it. So if I'm doing something that's triggering you because you know a lot about makeup, <laughs> give your girl some suggestions in the comments down below. And then I just take the leftover foundation and put up my neck. I know that some people do put on their ears and sometimes I do if I know that I'm gonna have my hair back. I'll put on my ears but today I'm just gonna skip that part. Now going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in light. I need to get more. I love this stuff so much. I've had it for so long so it's really lasted me. Although I do not do my makeup a lot just because I feel comfortable leaving the house without makeup on so I only do it once in blue moon for like special occasions or if I'm just feeling myself that day. <laughs> yeah, the the smoke where I live right now is really bad and it's super unsafe to go outside. But there are still people going out with all this smoke because they think they're going to be fine. They don't feel it. Little do they know, they're probably shredding some years off their life. <laughs> Alright, so after I put the concealer under my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit, I go in with my Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. I think they only have one tone. It's the Invisible 10. And I've had it for so long. I need a new one. And I go in with my e.l.f. Professional Total Face Brush. I love it so much. I got it at Walmart for literally just a few bucks. And it honestly, I think it compares to um, a high-end nice brush. Like, it's so good. I hold it weird because there's not a lot of product in here. So it looks like I'm grabbing a lot, but I'm not. Let's just put that all over. But yeah, the smoke here. Um... I have been inside most of the time except when that one day I went to work and as soon as I left the house I started getting a sore throat which was not fun. There's probably a, a technique to put on this and I just don't know it. Then I go in with my NARS and it looks like that. I like how shimmery it is. I don't know if it's showing up but uh, I have the the testing size and I'll put the I'll put the shade I have on the screen. I don't want to say it. So and I'm using my Essence blush brush. I don't know if you can get it anymore. But I just put a little bit on my nose as well and I don't use bronzer. So I use it as bronzer a little bit just because I don't want the bronzer look, I want more of a I'm blushing look. <laughs> Next I go in with my MAC Hyper Real Glow. And it looks like that. And a 
Ulta, so she actually recommended me this palette because right before quarantine, I, um, I went to Ulta because I wanted to get back into makeup and I'm so glad I worked on just getting mostly eye makeup because we're wearing masks now, so good thing. This is the only face product I think I got at the time. I don't regret it though, it's so nice. And I just take all three shades and I like blend them together. She was of color and she said that as far as she knows, blending them all together works for all skin tones. She does that and she's recommended two lighter toned skin colors like myself. So I do that and then I go in with my eye makeup and I do the MAC Prep and Prime as a base and let me tell you this stuff really works it's a little hard to get out you don't need a lot it's a stiff cream but then you put on your eyelids and it literally melts and it like when i take off my makeup it all just slides right off but then i'll take off my eye makeup and it will just stay and i'm just like all right i'm going to bed with eyeshadow on <laughs> but that's okay okay so i'm gonna go in with the naked three urban decay palette and honestly, I've been wanting a naked palette since middle school, even when I wasn't in my makeup phase really anymore. And I finally got one right before quarantine. I also got recommended a the Morphe uh, makeup brush kit. I literally keep the packaging because it tells me what the brushes are used for even though I never look at that because I don't read. But I'm going to show you more of my glam go-to look because it's a bit more interesting. So first I'm going to go in with Limit as a base because it's a bit more subtle. I'm going to go tap 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 because I don't know. <laughs> I just put that on my eyelid. Okay, and then for the crease, I go in with the Nooner, the darker shade. Just a little bit. Like, a little bit for the side. <laughs> and then I go in with a bit more flat, straight, smaller brush. And I take my NYX Matte Finish Spray, setting spray. It smells so weird. It smells like alcohol or something. So I spray my brush, tried to get it all on a tip. You guys are probably like, what is happening? Um, I learned this from some other YouTubers video that it makes glitter show up more a bit. So I go in with my Buzz right here, that's what I'm using, Buzz, just a shimmer. And I pat that along my lid. So anyway, as I do this, I'm gonna tell you guys a bit more background on why this is my second video. So since I don't have the ring light yet, I didn't want to do a cleaning my room video or preparing for college type thing because the ring light will really help me just get the right angles and that it won't be like awkwardly trying to set my phone uh in my room so i had to think of a sit down video that i wanted to do and i can't film outside because of all the smoke and also my whole family is home because not everyone in my house has gone back to work yet that is changing on my first day of college everyone should be at work so my videos will be a lot more quiet in the background hopefully and i'll have a ring light so it'll be more professional but also i thought that this video just seemed like a fun idea and you guys get to know me a, a little bit more what's going on in my life and how i do my makeup and how i know absolutely nothing about makeup <laughs> Okay, so then I go in with my Maybelline Great Lash, and I have mixed feelings about this. I usually get the normal wand, that's just like a basic average wand. This one 
it's interesting looking i don't think it's gonna focus but you guys see the shape it's so weird it's it makes it a bit more difficult to apply but it works i am looking into getting a nicer mascara just because i've noticed that getting a really nice mascara makes a difference although maybelline is a really good mascara i definitely recommend it but not all of them like the more color like this packaging these ones are really good but then if you try the colorful packaging like i've tried a purple maybelline mascara before and it was like flaking down my face i don't know though i think it's more about taste because i know a lot of people that love maybelline's other mascaras and i just blink i blink as i put it on because it's a life hack i found out about a while back and it just i think it touches more of the lashes like the roots so it makes it pop a bit more and i've been getting into falsy eyelashes but i don't think i'm gonna do that today because to be honest they take way too long like I also don't do my bottom lashes because my lashes are really long and it will just give me raccoon eyes a few hours in so then I take my essence lash and brow gel mascara this is supposed to be clear but I used to put on my mascara and then put this over just to bring them out a bit more but i notice now that i don't like doing that anymore and i actually put it on my brows a little bit just to straighten them out a little bit and it gives them a little tint but not too much because my brows don't need any more filling in <laughs> so it was like a homemade gel brow <laughs> situation going on and then i finish off my routine with the mario bedescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea it's a little pricier it's not drugstore i got it from ulta and people use it as a setting spray and people also use it just as a refresher after they get ready for bed take off all their makeup and wash their face uh it's nice you can use it for multiple different things sometimes i do that i mostly use it for a spreading setting spray though i got that in my mouth <laughs> Okay, I almost forgot my lips, but I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Cherry Bomb.com. And I got three of these recently. It was the first Glossier product that I got. And I love this. This is the only one. So I got the coconut and birthday cake one. But this one actually has some color to it. Okay, I didn't put on that much, so you can't really tell. Um, I think they're used more just for uh, a lip protectant. I heard they don't really hydrate necessarily, more just protect. Uh, I love them so much. The coconut smells like coconut. The birthday cake smells like a birthday cake. And the cherry smells, I heard like medicine, but I'm a cherry person, so I like the cherry. Set. So that's the finished makeup look. And if you're interested in what I'm going to use to take off my makeup, I love the Kroger brand makeup remover wipes. I get the jumbo sized box because it's you get such a more affordable price and they work really well. So I hope you enjoyed this more chill, laid back, chit chat with me video and got some insight on how I like to do my makeup when I do do it. And next week, I plan on posting my first day of college as a freshman from home. So make sure you stick around for that one and I'll see you next time. Bye!